I'm coming in today to talk to you a little bit more about self-care. And I think this is a topic that's especially important for moms. Um, and since it's going to be May is the Mother's Day month, and that I thought, what better topic to talk about than something as it relates to moms taking care of themselves. And, that, and so as a mom, we uh, women oftentimes are kind of pulled in many, many different directions. And often our time and energy is focused more on our family and our kids and not as much on ourselves. But it is important for us to take care of ourselves so that we can take better take care of our family. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some potential things that you can be doing uh, for self-care um, and actually see if anyone had any suggestions of things that they liked to do. So I took my own advice and practice some self-care this morning and went to one of my favorite places in St. Louis, the Missouri Botanical Gardens, and I took a lovely walk around the gardens uh, to take in all of the spring flowers that are crazy in bloom right now. Um, so for me, um, something that makes me happy is getting out in nature and going for walks or hikes. So um, like I said, if you're local to St. Louis, the Botanical Gardens is a great place. I also like to get out into the woods and go for different hikes um, out in nature that way. Uh, and even if it's just for a short period of time, I only went to the gardens for about 20 minutes this morning, maybe 30 minutes to get a walk in, but it really um, just, you know, heightened my mood and put me in good spirits and let me have some nice me time where I'm just out there doing something that I love. Um, so if the weather's nice, that's my self-care thing of choice is getting outside and going for a walk or a hike out in nature it just has a great calming effect on our spirit and really makes me happy so if the weather's not nice so or maybe it's chillier out and um or just not feeling like getting outside another thing that i like to do when i am practicing self-care and taking care of taking time for myself is to read a good book and that's so I always have a stack of probably three or four books that are at the ready for me to start reading um, my trouble is that once I usually get into a book I keep reading it until I'm done with it if I like it so unfortunately that one could uh, keep me going for quite a while if it's a really good book so if anyone has any suggestions of good books that I should read um, I I'm open to it. But um, in the winter months, I have a, a cozy recliner chair down in our basement that I like to curl up in and read. And when it's nice out in the summertime, we have a screened in porch and I like to sit out there and and read uh, just to, you know, take my mind off things, get lost in a book. So again, taking a little bit of time for me. Um, there's nothing wrong with pampering yourself and taking care of yourself. So another thing that I do on a regular basis for self-care is I get a massage on a monthly basis. And that really helps with my stress levels and generally just, you know, helping my muscles feel more relaxed and helping everything move better. So I really relish my monthly massage. And then um, another option that I do, um, maybe not as regularly as that, but is that I go get a manicure or a pedicure, um, you know, maybe every other month or so just to keep things looking fresh, you know, help my nails be healthy and help everything look pretty, you know, have a little bit of color, have a little bit uh, of style going on. And, you know, it can really help your mood if you kind of, you know, put some time and effort into kind of how you're, you're looking and dressing for the day, especially if you're blah, you know, you actually put on a nice outfit and that it can really help help your mood that way. So, so those are just a few uh, tips, you know, suggestions. Those are things that work well for me, but um, other people might like other, other things. So I have friends who really love to practice yoga or um, love going to their Pilates class or love going to um, their boot camp type class. So it's, you know, you got to go with what's going to work for you. Um, but do try and find something that, whether it be a hobby, exercise, um, something that you like or love preferably and that you can find time to fit in on, on a regular basis. 
because again, the more that you take care of yourself, the better off that you're going to be able to take care of your family and your kiddos. So hopefully I gave you some good suggestions. And if you, I would love to hear what what your suggestions for self-care are. So um, I'm always open to new ideas and things to try. Mm -hmm.